Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for everyone that's been subscribing recently. We are doing a giveaway. Where all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. And if you are, I'm pulling a random lot for all the people that are subscribed and we're giving away two $25 codes, either Xbox or PlayStation, whichever one you have. Uh, the winner will be announced on December the 14th, so make sure to subscribe to be entered to that. Now what we are doing today is we're going to be recapping all of the best plays from week 13 of the NFL season. I'm going to be doing this every single week on the Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday, or whenever the last game of the week is, and reviewing all the best plays from the given week, so make sure we see that that will be happening every single week. So yeah, let's hop right into it. Dude, Taysom Hill. Seeing Taysom Hill throwing touchdown passes was so nice this time. Alrighty guys, so that was just the Saints and Falcons highlights now for that game. It was so nice to see Taysom Hill throw the ball. That was actually his first passing touchdown in his career. He had two in that game, so every game before that was just rushing. But, dude, for fantasy, he's a monster. He can throw his touchdown passes and uh, rush them. Crazy. Dude, the Saints might not even... It's crazy to think about what the Saints are going to do next year. If they're going to retain Drew Brees or not, or just let Taysom Hill ride, or even Jane Winston take the wheel. But yeah, Taysom Hill is really killing it right now, and I think the Saints should really think about the future there. Here's my Bears, boys. Montgomery, killing it. I thought we had this, boys. I really did. Stafford came out to play. Adrian Peterson came out to play. Yeah, we suck at offense. Hey, we served runs of all, though. At least we were doing that. We're doing something. Yeah, this is a big play. Don't like this one. Yeah, they, our defense has not been as good as it usually is. That's okay, though. Montgomery got him. At least this year, this game, it was like at least a bit of a fight. Like, we put up offensive points. 23 points, I'll take that. Yeah, so that was a Bears and Lions game. Uh, just to recap that, yeah, I'm a Bears fan, so uh, that sucked. But Bears offense looked really good, and that never happened. So that's a bright side for them and for the Lions. Yeah, they came out and shocked everybody. Matt Stafford, don't doubt him. I think he led the, the league in, not the league, the week on passing yards now. So never doubt Matt Stafford. He's got a cannon, bro. Uh, Bears defense had a lot of easy, a lot of easy deep passes. The Lions defense was horrible at the run. If the Bears running back can get... Lions defense, Lions defense, you're horrid at running. But they won the game, so props to them. Phillip. It was so nice to see T.Y. score again, man. Like it used to be. Deshaun. So that was the Texan Colts game. Just to wrap it up quickly, uh... Colts showed a lot more firepower than they usually do, which is nice to see from them. Uh, all their trio of running backs did really well, actually. Usually only one of them does well, and then the other two are bad, but they all did pretty good. Phil Rivers had a really good game. Uh, the, both side defenses were kind of eh. Uh, Texas showed a little bit of firepower, but it's just not going to be enough for them to make it in the division. Tyler Boyd, monster play, man. Monster play, bro. Get the big guns out, bro. Tua? And there was only two highlights for that game, which actually makes sense because not a lot of happened that game. But, uh, yeah, overall, uh, Bengals can't do anything when they don't have Joe Burrow, the franchise quarterback. So, just expect mediocrity out of them. Uh, Dolphins? Kind of the same thing. I would way rather start Fitzpatrick if I were them. I don't know why two is still starting. I guess they just want to develop him, but right now I think Fitzpatrick's the best chance. But hey, if you can keep winning with two, I'll keep winning with two, I guess. That was a gnarly catch. That was some sports center shit. Off the tip off? Come on, crazy. Thielen, bro, he's on my fantasy team. I love that man. 
Vikings got a crazy wide receiver duo for our rich. Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, bro. And they got Dalvin Cook. And Kirk Cook is playing pretty well. As I say, they throw the pick six, but you know. He's doing pretty good. Alright, this is, the, this is the only thing that matters in this game. Literally the only thing that matters. The definition of tank right here. That's how you tank your game, just trying to lose. That last clip the only thing we need to talk about. Uh, Jets wanted to lose, so they did that, and the defense coordinator got fired. Uh, Raiders put on a show. Waller did really good, but uh, if the Jets can beat you in a game, you should not be satisfied. So that I wouldn't count that win if I was a Raiders fan. Wide open. Yeah, but basically for that game, uh, Browns put on a monster offensive show. Titans tried to come back, but they couldn't do it. Titans defense is just so in their weakness, bro. I don't know how far they're going to be able to get in the playoff, or even the playoff picture if their defense is that bad. But yeah, props to the Browns, bro. They're showing out. They're 9-3. That's crazy to think about when they were just 0-16 a couple of years ago. That's crazy. <laughs> Nice to see the ramp here ending in the running game, bro. Rams defense, just too good, bro. They're my fantasy defense, I love that. Hey, dude, I'm at Rams game. Rams defense is just looking crazy, bro. If the Rams, def or the Rams offense can get any running game going, they look scary, bro. Because their defense is so set, passing game set, they just need a running game to click, and they're looking good. Cardinals, on the other hand, uh, I think they did just fill out the playoff picture, so they got to put it back together. D Hop and Murray got to get that connection back. Running game can't drag, so they get back going. Their defense looks subpar, but I still have hope for you guys. This game is weird, bro. Massive hit. Yeah. So that was pretty safe, not a touchdown, but look at Wayne Gallman go, bro. Crazy, bro. Wayne Gallman showing out. Against 17 5 in the fourth against the Seahawks, bro. That's crazy. Rodgers to Adams, bro. Too crazy. Unreal. Dalen Hurts back in the game, bro. He'd love that. First play of his career, bro. Not career, but. Aaron Jones. Crazy, bro. Oh, the step back nasty, bro. Aaron Jones going crazy. Uh, this is the only play I'm going to show this game because this game was absolutely horrible to watch. The Patriots just killed the Chargers, and Chargers did nothing. But we'll put our turn. Alvin Gordon looks good, bro. Tyree Hill, bro, is crazy. If you guys enjoyed this weekly recap of the NFL, I would appreciate it if you guys liked it and that would show me to do it again next week. I'm planning to do it again every single week for the NFL season to go on. Recap every game and hope you guys like that. But for now, it's your boy JST. Head it out.